How's it going, Pharma Life family? We have a a wonderful treat for you. As I was, uh, I took a couple of guests down to our neighbor Eric's farm, and I'm walking up, and I'm just, I'm walking up here, and I'm thinking, I wonder how the pineapples are doing, because I know we've got some ready to go. And sure enough, vine ripened, minerals, enzymes, nutrients, fully intact. I'm sorry guys in the States, you don't get this in the States because they have to pick them completely unripe like some of the ones that you see on this line. But this is absolutely vine ripened and I'm going to pick it right now. Here we go. Just going to hold the top, cut it here with my machete. Look at that. Wow, the first pineapple of Finca de Vida. The first pineapple at Farm of Life. Woo! Costa Rica. Pretty nice, huh? Wow. How's it going again, Farm of Life family? Just a few minutes ago, you saw us cut our very first vine ripened, enzyme rich, mineral dense, vitamins everywhere pineapple here at Farm of Life. Um, we're at the house now. And we wanted to enjoy this moment, my wife and I, and of course Wilco, who's got the camera, who's our dear, dear friend, an awesome chef. Um, we're going to show you a little bit how to prepare the, the pineapple. Um, the top is basically like the seed, or the ijo, they call it here in Costa Rica, or the sun. So all you have to do is just give this a gentle little twist. And you plant this in the ground. And if you look, on the plant, there were seven or eight little ijos or little suns like this. You plant this, year and a half, two years, get yourself another pineapple just like this. You plant this one, a little bit shorter time, get yourself another pineapple. It's still a long time. It's right? still... That, that pineapple grove was planted probably two years ago, if not more. Right. So you know you got you got a year and a half to two years before this is this is going to produce a pineapple. But what's amazing is one pineapple tree produces about eight suns, eight to ten suns or hijo as they call in Spanish suns here. And then you plant those. A couple of years later, they grow. So the key with pineapples is to kind of stagger your pineapples a little bit. You know, have some growing one year, some growing another year. It's very difficult to predict that though. But anyway, when you get a ripe, vine ripened pineapple, you just want to savor it and enjoy it. So this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to cut it. And my wife is a professional culinary artist. She studied at the Atlanta School of Culinary Arts. So here she goes. She's going to cut the pineapple because it requires a professional to do this. It's full of it. What I love about this pineapple is it's yellow. It is ripe. It was vine ripened. It was not picked before its time. And what's really unfortunate in the United States, and actually happens here too, is that they'll harvest pineapples when they're still green and then let them ripen on the shelf. But those kinds of pineapples have something inside that is fibrous and it's almost like it's really sharp and it will cut up your mouth when you eat it. In the States, when I used to eat pineapples, I didn't really eat pineapples because I found it very uncomfortable in my mouth and my mouth kind of felt like it had been burned. And that's because I was eating a pineapple that was picked before it was ripe. This pineapple's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> smells fantastic. I wish you, I wish you could smell Very it. Very sweet. And that's how I shop for pineapples is the smell test. Pineapples and cantaloupes. Um, well. Time to cut it. There are lots of ways to cut it. And um, I'll just do what I, for me, is the simplest and fastest way. I cut off the ends. This is one of the easiest ways. Ah. Ooh, it's a white one too. This is a white pineapple. So the white ones are even better. There are white and yellow pineapples. I cut off the ends. I cut along the sides. The diehard fruitarians will suck off the fruit off the skin. I'm gonna suck it off the skin. Be my guest. Very juicy. Oh God. Succulent. So you know the core of the pineapple is um, not really edible. It's edible like you can juice it, but it's really hard, so you don't want to eat it. So I then just slice big chunks off oh. of the core, getting the oh. core out of here. Three second rule. 
so good. Let's see. I had that aim there around the corners. White pineapple. What a treat. White pineapples are are sweeter than orangey yellow pineapples. They're they're be, they're they just taste even better. They can be. But this is exciting. Like we were saying, it takes two years. <laughs> so we've been watching this grow, this pineapple grow for a long time, and we have many other pineapple groves um, that are not quite as old. And as you guys know, or most of you know anyway, that pineapple contains the enzyme bromelain in it. And it's really, really anti-arthritic. Um, really good for inflammation, any kind of inflammation in the body. So, yep. if you got some inflammation, pineapple. And for you, Wilco. Yummy! Oh <laughs> my god. Mmm. Very nice. Oh. It's perfect. Mmm. That's great. Oh, that is delicious. It's absolutely incredible, Farmer Life family. Ah. Bye we'll bye. see you guys later. <laughs> Hopefully you can come down one time and try one of these. Feast with us. Bye-bye. Much love. <laughs>